Hey guys, what's going on? Um, change of scenery. I told you I was gonna change things up. I'm not in my bathroom anymore. I'm in my kid's bathroom. So, check it out. Not bad, eh? Cool. Yeah. Uh, they got the zoo theme happening. They like animals. Be... <laughs> no. Not gonna say that. I'm in my kid's bathroom. Um... <laughs> check out the safari jeep! Alright. So, got some new comics. Check out the variants from AVX. Whoa! Okay, anyways. Uh, new comics this week. Also got a package from my friend Greco Fabulous. I'm gonna open it up at the end. By the way, how was your weekend, guys? Mine was fantastic. Made a bunch of new friends here on YouTube. Have some awesome subscribers. Awesome subscribers, new subscribers. Just fantastic comments and emails. Oh, so much love. I feel the love from all you full nice people. Okay, comic books. Marvel Zombies Halloween number one. This is a one shot. I'm not gonna review this because remember what I told you guys? I'm gonna be doing a Halloween, a Halloween haul, a Halloween one shot, all the books from this year, maybe some extra ones. So I picked up some old books as well. House of Secrets 88, Neil Adams cover from 19... 69, 70? I'm not sure. But anyways, this is one of my favorite covers, cover, cupboards. Cupboards, covers where I, um, this cover has been swiped so many times. Um, you know, the, I don't know if this is. It looks like chalk the way he did it. It's like it looks like chalky, but it's obviously painted on. But anyways, uh, yeah, like if you guys remember uh, Nick Fury's. Yeah, there's a book Nick Fury has. Uh, I don't know what number it is, but it's the cover swipe of this as well. Uh, Steranko did it in honor of Neil Adams, because Neil Adams is Neil Adams. Another, uh, sticking to the theme of Halloween, that I'm going to be doing a Halloween video later on, is this House of Mystery number 264. Got a little pumpkin there, very juicy, special Halloween issue. Do you know who's going to want to check in on, on this episode? It's going to be R. Dowdy. I saw your show last night, had a blast, you know I was there, I was commenting. Buddy, you're so much... I mean, you're so good and you're so awesome, such a great person. I'm so lucky I met you. Anyways, Nightmare on Elm Street. Picked this up, Dollar Bins, number four, by Wildstorm Comics. Very sexy cover. Another, and I was in a uh, Nightmare on Elm Street mood. It's called Nightmares on Elm Street by Innovation, number four. On to the comics. All right, Catwoman. Uh, before I start, can I just tell you guys that I'm shaking like crazy today. Uh, can I just tell you guys that uh, don't read Catwoman. Never picked it up. Uh, not planning on it. I just picked it up because of this Death in the Family tie-in prologue. Uh, once again, the die cuts. I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I said it before. I'm not feeling these die cuts, man. If Batman came out with the die cut... That would have been great. It was like, oh, awesome cover. But then all of a sudden, there was like a Batgirl, and now a Catwoman. Um, so uh, I don't know too much about Catwoman. So, I'll, um, but this actually, this issue read way better than Batgirl. Um, Joker actually makes an appearance in this. You can see a silhouette of him in the background. Uh, she gets these like a uh, this haunting reminder or image of uh, some teddy bear. Reminds her of her uh, friend, and um, she feels like she's being watched, and she sees a silhouette. She goes, it looks familiar, and it's, you can tell it's a joker because he has that tool belt, that apron on, and you see the hammers and the screwdriver sticking out. So, uh, so she gets hired on, I don't know what Catwoman does, I guess she gets, she's like, not a hitman, but she does odd jobs, B&Es, stuff like that, I don't know. So uh, it's it's apparently there's, like, there's this big uh, chess match happening through Gotham Gotham City. This massive chess match and uh, chess match. I can't I can't freaking talk to them, man. And um, so uh, you know she's going she's gonna do this hit or this job, and um, she goes through with it. And uh, it was a good read. I never read Kevin before, and I actually enjoyed it. So. Uh, See, not my bathroom. I'm getting. See, uh, there might be a special guest later on. I have a feeling. So, anyways, chess pieces all over the place. Uh, 
she's it's it has to get the black to the queen and she uh succeeds and um in the on on the chess piece inside the chess piece actually there's like this kid inside and um an explosion happens and she's like are you okay and then at the back there's like an amazing picture of her look down in the picture beautiful formation just gorgeous uh there's a picture in the back and it's like spray painted on the wall checkmate so obviously a heavy presence of the joker in this he has got some he's got something to do with it but it read better it read better than batgirl maybe because batgirl i don't read batgirl either and i don't know what the hell he's talking about so check it out not bad nightwing number 13. tom defalco is actually doing this one and also new artist andres Gonaldo. Um, Lady Shiva's got her sights on, set on Gotham. This is cool. Also, uh, heavy Joker presence as well. Uh, Nightwing is swinging around. Right off the bat, brings up the Joker. It's like, Joker's back in town. Gotta see what's going on. Trying to talk, call Bruce. He's not answering. Contact Alfred's not answering. So, Nightwing's like, kind of stuck in a rut. Tries to take it upon himself. Goes down and visits an old friend by the name of Penguin. And Penguin's like, well, won't really tell him too much information, but says, well, what you're, that itch you're feeling you're having is not the Joker, it's actually Lady Shiva. So I guess um, uh, he goes back, he goes to this place to like intercept Shiva because uh, there's word that she's gonna be assassinated by some mob and um, so, you know, shit goes down, fights, stuff like that, and then she only makes an appearance at the end. So it's going to continue on next issue. But uh, pretty cool. Uh, Nightwing's always been consistent to me. Um, Tom DeFalco, that was a pretty interesting read. I enjoyed it. Uh, wasn't the... Uh, Higgins usually does the run, so... two ninety nine Nightwing, it's a book that I can't see myself ever dropping because I've always liked Nightwing. Ultimate Comics number 16. I uh, am not going to review this because I'm at only issue 14. And uh, I don't want to spoil it. Walking Dead 103. Alright guys, no spoilers. Da, 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 da. Don't, don't touch the button. You're not going to fast forward this shit. Relax, I'm not going to spoil anything. So chill out. Okay, so 103. I'm just going to say this. Uh, this would have read better if I didn't know Rick's plan in 102. Because in 102, right at the end, Rick revealed his plan. Kind of made this issue... It was a good read. You know, it's... It, walking Dead's are flawless, as you all know. But just kind of read, you know... I, it would have read better if I, if it, I knew he, Rick wasn't going to do what he's going to do. So no spoilers, okay? That's all. Just let's just admire the cover for a minute. Isn't that so cool? Look at that. There's Negan with Lucille, who's the bat, about to smash Glenn's head. What? Oh, you got a problem with that? All right. Uh, last book, Justice League, number thirteen. Uh, Jeff Johns is writing this still. Uh, Daniels is on the art pencils. Where's Jim Lee? When's he supposed to be off? I don't know. But anyways. This, I'm not going to miss Jim Lee at all at art. This was the pick of the week for me when it came for art and, and um, coloring. Just fantastic, beautiful, beautiful stuff here, man. Uh, so Justice League uh, picks up right where Superman and Wonder Woman left off. They just pulled away from that kiss. Uh, the beginning kind of read like a soap opera, very soap opera. -ish. Even the, the eyes, the days of our lives, like the... You know, the pauses and stuff like that. A lot of that shit going down here. And then uh, what I really enjoyed was Cyborg, Cy Cyborg, Cyborg, yeah. Uh, Cyborg and Flash, their banter of uh, Superman kind of excuses himself. Flash, Cyborg, give us a moment, please. And then it's so cool that they're kind of eavesdropping on Superman and Wonder Woman, but they're not doing anything really, you know, jiggy jiggy. So, um... It was pretty fun. It wasn't that bad. Uh, Justice League has been a little bit, you know, up and down, up and down, up and down. But so far, it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I forgot the cover. Duh. The cheetah. 
makes her appearance. And we also get a little origin about the cheetah, how she was friends with uh, uh, Barbara before she became a cheetah, was friends with uh, Diane, one of the women, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, I don't know too much about the cheetah. I only know what I know about the cheetah is from the, the Super Friends TV show. That's about it. So um, it, was, it was pretty good. Uh, I just, I love the art in this book. And uh, so far, you know, I'm actually happy because I was kind of, you know, felt bad for Justice League. I was like kind of feeling a little disappointed. So that's it for books of the week, guys. I got lots of issues. I'm not reading like Wonder Woman. I don't review that because everyone has the same review on YouTube on Wonder Woman. So I'm not going to come on here and gush just like everyone else does. So whatever. So that's it for the comments today, guys. Uh, I'm just going to go. What? You want to know what this is? All right. It's from Gaggle Family. So as you all know, we have had this little thing going on on YouTube. Uh, but it hasn't affected him ha as it, it has affected me. Like I said, overwhelming support. I kind of, my wife opened it a little bit in the beginning just so uh, to see what, it, you know, if it was from someone, you know, whatever. I'm not going to get into that. It's another video. So here we're, oh my God, he sent me a comic. Dude, what are you doing, man? He sent me a comic? It's issue 01, he was supposed to review. Can you guys see that? Um, it's the ripped up pieces. That's pretty cool. You put it, oh, he bagged and bored it. That's awesome, man. Oh, thanks, buddy. So cool. It's still good, though. I'd give it like a... A 9.4. My son has to use the bathroom. I gotta go. Greco Fabulous, buddy, you're the best.